In a world trying to make the most of renewable energy resources, batteries become a critical stumbling block. Because solar and wind power can be intermittent, the sun doesn't always shine, and the wind doesn't always blow when demand is highest. It becomes critical to store energy to keep the system working, and that means a global race is on to develop better battery technology. Well, a company right here in our region is leading the way. It's called Axion Power International, and it's based in Newcastle, Lawrence County, Pennsylvania. Thomas Granville is CEO of Axion. Welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, well, this is exciting. So 2013 was your big lucky year. You sort of get out of what, the R&D R &D phase and actually start deploying this technology commercially, right? That's exactly right. Uh, we emerged from uh, the R&D phase in January of 2013, and we're now into the commercial phase. And we've sold some uh, power cubes for solar uh, on all electric train to Newfork, Norfolk Southern. Um, and so we're looking forward to 2013, 14, and beyond. Yeah. So, so the the storage piece for solar and stuff is kind of fits in the fits on the grid and uh, grid and managing power supply. But this also has transportation applications. Like it is electric trains and stuff. Uh, yeah, at exactly. a big scale, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. big scale. Uh, we've been working with Norfolk Southern since 2009, and we provided them batteries for an all-electric yard runaround train application. And we're also working with them on an over-the-road application, uh, which will actually be on the Crescent Line, which is uh, a line that runs from New Jersey all the way down to uh, New Orleans. Hmm. And, and, and for over-the-road, what, what's the advantage of having batteries as opposed to the kind of standard diesel locomotives that railroads use now? Yeah, what uh, we're doing is we're providing the boost. Uh, we're providing the power when they need the power. So on their uphill climbs, we take advantage and uh, utilize our batteries, and then we recharge those batteries through regenerative braking on the downhills. Hmm. And this uh, technology can be applied in the trucking industry as well? Yes, uh, exactly. We have been working with ePower. They have a proprietary, unique, new technology. Uh, the last two years, we've been working with them. They've had uh, their truck on the road, and they've tried other batteries um, lithium-ion batteries, lead-acid batteries, but came back to us and said that their those batteries weren't capable of giving them the power that they need. In a nutshell, they're after the Class 8 trucks, yeah. which uh, use 28 billion gallons of diesel fuel a year. Wow. They've been able to show, in conjunction with our batteries, a 37 percent savings in that fuel. Wow, so big fuel saving, and then if you think of the, the smoke and stuff that pours out of a big diesel truck, presumably you're reducing emissions as well if they use more batteries. Right? Correct. Those Class 8 trucks emit 104 megatons of CO2 uh, on an annual basis. So we're reducing them the same amount, same percentage amount, as we're reducing the fuel. So 37 percent less emissions. Pretty amazing. Only got a couple of minutes left. But I got to ask you, what makes your battery better? Why, why is this proving to be such a great opportunity in these industries? Yeah, our, our battery is, uses a lead carbon base for uh, the manufacturing. But what we've done is we've taken the lead out of the negative electrode. The negative is the failure mode of a lead acid battery. Hmm. And it fails because of the lead. The, crystallization of the lead. So we've taken the lead out, we've replaced it with activated carbon. And that gives the battery its unique properties, longer life, uh, three to four times longer life, faster recharge, uh, greater charge acceptance, and uh, lack of variability in string applications, which means that all the batteries in a string 54 batteries in some of those strings uh, for the train and for the truck, they'll all stay around the same voltage. So it enables the batteries to last longer. So much more consistency in output and Correct. reliability in the way they perform. Yes. So you, now you said we've, we've mentioned a few examples here, but really starting to ship batteries out of Newcastle now and, and finding your markets? We are. Uh, we've shipped uh, just this past week, we shipped uh, 600 batteries to uh, buy solar in uh, New Jersey for a solar application. There, uh, the solar right now, there's uh, some great government incentives that are out there. And we also have a, a cube on site that's tied into the PJM utility 
network. So that application is what uh, the bi-solar opportunity is all about. We're going to provide frequency reg for them and we're going to provide backup power. There's only a few seconds left, so 2014 about scaling this now, finding markets, and building it, more batteries? It absolutely is. Uh, it a absolutely is. We're preparing for uh, a very steep climb in our uh, top line mm -hmm. sales. Well, this is exciting. The company's called Axion up in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Tom Granville's the CEO. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you again for having us. And we'll be back in a minute with more of our region's business. Stay with us.